Stockholm is a city built on islands, and its waterways were once its original transport routes. But today, we're barely using them. The problem is that the current diesel vessels are inefficient, costly to run, and heavily polluting. Even though just a small percentage of commuters travel by boat, the city's aging fleet consumes more fossil fuels than all other forms of public transport in Stockholm combined. The Candela P12 is the world's first electric hydrofoiling ferry with a capacity of 30 people. The hydrofoils means that around 12 knots, the boat will start to lift above the surface. And around 16 knots, you're completely above the surface. It actually reduces the energy consumption by about 80%. It also means that we create no wake. It won't disturb the shoreline in a way that a traditional ferry does. This means we can get a speed exemption for much faster commute. Candela has been working on this project for, uh, what, about four years now? So we're super excited to have our first commercial boat in operation. This route is the first time that we're going to take on public passengers. It's a test to check how the electric hydrofoiling ships are received by the uh, public transportation sector. The region of Stockholm has chosen to deploy the P-12 on a pilot route between Ekerö, the fastest growing island suburb, and the city centre. On this 15-kilometer stretch, the P-12 will cut travel times in half for commuters, thanks to the speed exemption in the city center. Ekerö is quite close to Stockholm, but it's quite poorly connected in the sense that there's a lot of traffic on the roads. The current best alternative today by public transport is taking approximately an hour. So with our 30-minute trip today, we proved that it's possible to have a much faster connection. P-12 ferry is 11.99 meters, meaning that it's designed to be crewed by one person. This decreases operating costs, particularly since an advantage of a 30-person ferry is that you can have a fleet of multiple boats, allowing for more frequent departures. Very quickly, the operators recover their initial investment because they have much lower energy consumption and much lower staff costs. And also because they can utilize their ships at a higher rate, they're running their ships full and they can take payments for every single seat on board. One big advantage with the P-12 is that it can be used without a significant infrastructure upgrade. We don't need a megawatt uh, charger. We can use existing electric car infrastructure to charge our ferry. The Candela P-12 marks a turning point, a future where our waterways once again become the veins of Stockholm's life, offering a clean, efficient and sustainable way to connect people between the city's islands. The journey starts here.